Welcome back. And the rupee closes at a five-week close today as most of the Asian currencies also weakened to the dollar. The dollar extended its relentless rally against the Japanese yen on Friday, rather today, to break above 101 to its highest since April 2009. After signing, the Japanese investors are buying more foreign assets, provided yet another reason to sell Japanese yen. But it's the rupee on your screens, more than 1% of a decline coming in for that one. Very sharp decline is what we have seen during the day today. Let's get in then, Abhishek Goenka, who's from India Forex Advisors. Abhishek, hi. The equity markets have been trading higher. The capital inflows have been on the higher side as well. And despite that, we have seen the rupee continue to weaken. Yeah, that's that's quite correct, and that's exactly what we have been observing. As I said, uh, that uh, you know we have seen uh, close to three billion dollars money coming in the FDI, and close to sixteen billion dollars coming into equity and debt. And uh, if we compare this with last year figures, the figures have been quite nice. Now, despite uh, this, you know, whenever we see a break of 54 and below, we are seeing a strong importer interest in the market, and the rupee is actually heading towards the 54 and half, uh, as we saw today. Like yesterday, when they talked about further rate cuts in euro or something, which was not very uh, good for the euro, the rupee immediately opened up so weak. So I personally feel that one thing is clear that the current account uh, problem that India is having, you know, a lot of people are talking about the gold and. Oil coming down, which will take care of the current account problem. But at the same time, you have to also look at that. The, uh, ultimately, the current account problem will not only uh, get solved because the prices of the commodities are coming down, but also because the kind of flows and the kind of liquidity which is there in the global markets. Ultimately, the significant part of the liquidity has to come to India also. Now, which is coming, but at the same time, the markets are not reacting. So, I guess. Uh, a balance between the low commodity prices and good amount of flows in India is ultimately going to be the solution to this problem. Otherwise, we're still going to see the rupee weakening towards 55 and plus. Vijay, the only reason that I can see rupee declining so sharply is perhaps the dollar demand coming in from oil importers and the gold importers as well. And of course, there have been concerns on CAD and everything else. But the kind of strong IIP numbers that you have seen and everything so positive coming in the recent days, how do you read this? Manisha, there have been two other factors uh, uh, which uh, the institutional players have been monitoring. Number one, uh, uh, the export target uh, which was set uh, to double from 2011-12 to 2013-14 has now been scaled back. In 2011-12, uh, uh, the projected export target for 2013-14 was 500 billion US dollars, which is unlikely to be met because uh, even the 12-13 uh, uh, FY which is ended saw uh, tepid exports at uh, 300 billion uh, US dollars. So uh, that uh, missing of uh, the export target, number one. Number two, the revision uh, midway of the 12th uh, uh, five-year plan, possibly by December 2013, is sending uh, indications to the forex markets that the government might just scale down their uh, uh, forex revenue or uh, uh, to a certain extent even their forex reserves. And that's got the market uh, fairly, fairly jittery. That's one reason why you saw an almost one and a quarter percent uh, spike up in the USDINR. And uh, this is exactly the event risk that I was talking about since the last three weeks and therefore advocating a buy on the USDINR every time it got close to the 5380 level. And as you can see, that uh, strategy has been fairly justified in the uh, last one trading session itself. Absolutely, Vijay. Bang on to that one there. Abhishek, what's your sense now for the rupee for the next week? How are you trading it? We are expecting a range of uh, 54, uh, 30 to around 55 levels in this week with a weakening bias. All right, Abhishek, we'll let you go. Thank you so much, Vijay, for also joining us. So 54 to 55 with a weakening bias is how our traders are trading in case of the Indian rupee for the next week as well. With that, completely out of time on hot commodities. Thank you for watching.